So today we're doing uh, logic one sum limit and given two non-negative integers a and b, we wanna return their sum so long as the sum has the same number of digits as a. And that's really at the heart of the question. It's um, essentially we wanna add, we're given these two numbers and we wanna add a and b. And of course that's what these two numbers are, a and b. And we wanna return essentially the sum only if the sum, the number of digits which the sum comprises of um, is the same number of digits as a. So here we have uh, two plus three and that's equal to five. We're returning the sum because the sum has one digit and so does a. Um, and of course, if that is not the case, um, for instance, if we had um, if we had eight, nine, 10, 11, so this, is, this has two digits. If you add both of the, if you add a and b, it gives you 11. And so this, this returns back eight because the sum actually has two digits while A has one digit. And so uh, that's not something we wanna do. And so we just return A if in fact, that's not true. So um, essentially the idea here, I mean, just to summarize is given two integers A and B, if A plus B, and I'll actually write this down here, um, given two ints A and B, right? If A plus B is equal to, um, if a, if a plus B is equal to a number with the same number of digits as A return sum, else return, um, return A. So if I add both of them and the result of adding them essentially reaps a number if the result of adding them reaps a number which um, has the same number of digits as A then return the sum, otherwise return A. So if I had, um, let's say this case here for, and actually we can just pick up a case that we already have. Um, a, A is equal to eight, one is, B is equal to one, eight plus one is nine. And so since nine has one digit, A has one digit, of course eight is only one digit, then we return the sum. Um, otherwise, if that's not the case, like here, where we actually have a number, the sum of A and B is 11. And so two digits for 11, one digit for A, um, we're just going to return back A. So the idea here is you really need to understand, um, and we could, I mean, so we could have int sum is equal to A plus B, right? And I mean, this would work. Um, but the thing is, we actually want to um, be able to get the length of sum and compare it to the length of A. And if the sum length does not equal A, uh, A's length, we want to return A else return um, the sum. Or in other words, I can say that, um, I can say that I want the length of the sum and I want to compare it to the length of A. Um, I can say that if the sum um, length is equal to um, a's length, right? Then um, return sum, else return a. And, and that's really, I think, the gist of what we want to do here. But the question is, so if I were to do this, if I were to do a plus b, I would, I would essentially get, let's say, nine, right? Or, I mean, sorry, eight, nine, eight, or any arbitrary number, which a plus b would add up to. And I would need to, um, and, and then of course I would store that in sum, and then I would need some means by which I can actually get the length of sum. Now we know that we can get, um, we know that we can get an array dot length, right? We know that we can get a string dot length, and that that would be the command for the string, and that would be the command for the array, and this would resolve to an integer, and essentially um, we can leverage one of these. We're not going to leverage the array dot length because very little does this actually have to do with arrays, but why it has some to do with strings is because we can actually convert the sum, which would be of course a plus b, let's say 22 or something. We can convert that to a string and then leverage string.length, leverage the fact that string.length gives us the length of a string. We can then find the length of um, sum given that we've converted it to a string. And um, yeah, so I mean, that's that's really the general process here. We do the same thing with A and then just compare them. So really um, the process here would be um, add A plus B, right? Store it in sum, okay? Change C 
sum to a string, change a to a string. And if sum length is equal to a length, which are both strings, then return the sum else return the um, else return the uh, return a. Okay. Um, so let's follow that process here. We'll have int sum is equal to zero. And just to clear this up, how do we actually get the length of a number? So if, if sum was storing a plus b, how do we actually get the length, length of sum? So we're actually converting uh, an integer to a, um, a string and then calculating the length of that string. And so, so we have sum here, that's an integer. And to convert the integer to a string, so to convert sum to string, we would do, we would essentially do, um, we would essentially do um, string dot value of, and then if I put sum in here, it's gonna output um, the string equivalent of that. So if, if some, if some re uh, resolve to, let's say eight, um, which, it, which right now, um, which right now it's, which right now it's an integer, it's going to, by the time it gets down here and it says string dot value of sum, it's going to essentially give eight, but it's going to make it a string. And, um, and then if we do, if we were to, let's say, store this in a new string, let's say new string, like that, then we can just do new string dot um, length, and then we would get the length of how many digits are comprised um, in um, the amount, uh, in sum technically, which is now a string, which was then, a, which was then stored into new string. But that's just a little redundant. Um, what we can do in this case is we will say, so if I were to do at, uh, string dot value of a plus b, that would essentially store a plus b. It would give me the equivalent of the string. It would give me an equivalent of a plus b. So if that resolved to nine, it would just change nine into a string. Um, and if I were to do dot length, it would say, it, it would give me the value of a, it would change nine into a string, if of course A was five and B was four, it would change it into the string and then it would give me the length of that particular string, which in this case would be one. So if A was equal to, if A was, if A was equal to five and B was equal to, you know, let's say 20, and I did string dot value of A plus B, well, this part would just, this part would resolve to, um, would resolve, would resolve to 25, which because it's sort of wrapped in string dot value of, it would become a string. So we would actually have 25. And then by the time we get here, we would get the length of this string, which is essentially um, going to be um, two because there are two characters. And so that's how we got the, um, the length of A plus B. So essentially my idea here is I can have an if statement. I can say that if um, string dot value of, well, I can actually say, okay, so if, yeah, if, if, this, if, the, if the string dot value of a plus b is equal to, and that resolves to an integer by the way, or actually this resolves to a string. If this string, if this string's length equals and I'm going to have to convert a as well to a string to get it into a string equivalent so that I can um, find its length. So if essentially if the string dot value of a plus b dot length is equal to the string dot value of a dot length, um, then I'm going to return a plus b, right? And if that doesn't happen, I'll just return the sum or actually I'll just return a. And I think I would have to put some brackets here, although I don't think that's the case. I think if you only have one statement, then it usually works. Um, but I think if I were to remove them, it's either going to return a plus b and stop there, or it's going to, or it's going to return a. I think this would work as well. 
So, I mean, really what we're trying to do, and this is pretty short and concise, but we're just trying to find, we're just converting a plus b into a string, defining the length of it. Um, and then it, we're judging if that equals to the conversion of a, which was an integer, but is now a string, um, if that also is equivalent. So if it is, then we return a plus b, otherwise um, we return a. Uh, 